Hello, John from Iconic RC. Uh, I've got today uh, my vintage Tamiar Wild Willy. Um, this was released in 1982, so a long time ago. Um, this is uh, kit number 58035, so the 35th uh, kit, radio control kit that Tamiar released. It's fantastic, isn't it? Look, look at that chassis. If you think about the, the modern stunt vehicles, because this is Tamiar's debut stunt vehicle, which basically means it wheelies. Um, the, the chassis these days are a lot simpler, you know, if you, if you think about your lunch boxes and your VW camper vans, what are they, the CW01 chassis, yeah. WR02 chassis, um, a lot less complicated than this. All, all I'd say about this is it's fantastic, I mean I really enjoyed restoring this. It's a, an amazing build, but it's very um, complicated. Um, I'm not going to take this shell off. <laughs> But, but inside there, um, hopefully you can see that all the radio gear, servos, the whole lot is, is protected with a lid. And what you had to do on this version was, was poke all the cables through and, and solder. Um, so it was a real, real faff. Um, this is the short wheelbase version. Um, this wasn't out for too long before they updated the Wild Willy um, with a, you know, a bit more of a practical version. So I'd say this, this is rare. It's expensive if you wanted to buy a short wheelbase, but it is flawed. Um, they really did change a lot of the features on this when they um, updated it. Uh, if you look at the two manuals, um, it's almost like a co complete redraw for the long wheelbase version. So just to recap, this is a short wheelbase. The quick way to tell is that circle there on that brace, that chassis brace. Short wheelbase, you'll see a circle there. On the long wheelbase, this brace is a bit longer and it's like a rounded rectangle. So that, that's the quickest way to know whether you've got a short wheelbase or a long wheelbase. Now if someone's restored a short wheelbase um, and you're thinking you're getting a genuine vintage, you know, genuine early short wheelbase version, I'd be a bit careful because there's all sorts of other little parts um, that are exclusive to the early version um, that they updated. So. So there you go, this is, the, this is a short wheelbase Wild Willy. Um, what else can I say about this? This is my runner shell. What I'll do is I'll show you, I've got a mint box art shell, um, but this is my runner shell because I really don't want to damage the box art shell. You know, they, they, I, I'm going to say these are rare, you can see get these on eBay, but people pay a lot of money for these at the minute. So you can see that, you know, the, there should be a grill there, but that's all sort of cut away. You normally get a winch on the front. Um, this shell hasn't been painted, which I think is, is brilliant. You're meant to paint this olive drab if you want to be box art, but this is unpainted, this shell, so a bit rough. I'll put an iconic RC sticker on the front there. Um, and like I say, I just left this as a runner. Um, Wild Willy should have a visor. Again, I'll show you that on, on, on my box art shell. Um, we've lost a spot because this is all part of the roll cage assembly, so as soon as one of those goes, that was it. So we've, we've got one mm. spot. So looks a bit rough, but I still think it looks in keeping for it. So they're not vintage. separately fitted items, the spots on the top? Sorry? They're not separately fitted then, they're all moulded on them? Yeah, it's all, it's all part of this, yeah, right. this, this assembly. Hmm. Um, you, um, yeah, you attach these parts, but that, that is part of, try and bend it, but it, it, it's all literally attached. Hmm. So if that snaps there, yeah. it, it, it's a goner. Hmm. Windscreen's okay on it, White windscreen wipers bust, but yeah, it, it's a runner. Um, like I say, if, if you want to try and build one of these at the moment, they're, they're, it's really expensive, all the parts. These these tyres uh, in good condition are hard to come by. They're the same tyres that you get on a Blazing Blazer, and if you know about the Blazing Blazer, you'll know that, again, really expensive to restore. So all I'd say about these tyres, if you do have them, there are foams inside, but if you've got one of these or a Blazing Blazer, get it off the ground, get these tyres off the ground, because these are heavy. Um, and you, you find a lot of these tyres are completely perished right around the wall, so watch out for that. I'm um, going to give it a, a light run just on this surface here. Um, we're at a BMX track, but I don't think it's going to cross that gravel, so we'll see how she goes just around here quickly. Um, I'm going to treat her with a bit of respect. Here we go then. Like I 
say this is Tammy R's first ever stunt vehicle. There she goes. <laughs> Excellent, love this. Um, they brought out a Willys Wheeler, which is like a like a road version, um, slightly different chassis, but same basis. And then they really binned this chassis and brought out the Pajero, which is on the um, long enduring lunchbox wheelie chassis that's still going strong today. Let's get her to pull another wheelie. couldn't resist it. <laughs> so yeah, not the fastest, but it's not meant to be fast. Um, I should have mentioned that this is running the period radio gear. So it's got the uh, receiver in there and the four AA batteries just, just to help um, with the weight. The battery's mounted at the back to help you pull, pull those wheelies. Um, so yeah, the, there's the manual speed controller in there, and if, if you needed to adjust that, you, you need to um, spare a couple of hours uh, just to get in there. Love it. So good fun, but not particularly practical if you want to work on one of these. Um, we'll leave it there then. I say I'll, sh I'll, I'll quickly show you. Um, when I get back from here, I'll show you the box art shell. But that is a short wheelbase, early version, Tammy R Wild Willy. Cheers. Okay, I promised you a look at my display shell. And there it is. It's gorgeous. It's done box art in olive drab with all the original decals. Um, you can see there that Willy is wearing his visor, which is a piece of Lexan that came in the kit. Not a lot of people used that or it just fell off but I've stuck that down with canopy glue. So yeah, I, I really love this shell. I didn't I didn't do this shell. One of my friends did. The chap I bought it off. Um and he's done a fantastic job and he always does. Okay. Until the next time, hope you enjoyed World Willie. Cheers!